What you're about to see in this video may be uncomfortable for some. The horror stories that fuel cinema's most terrifying plots may leave audiences unsettled and disturbed. But even the scariest films are nothing compared to real life horror stories. In today's video, we talk about a man who we masked a collection of mummified girls. Anatoly Moskvin seemed like a smart guy. According to the Daily Beast, the college professor and Russian journalist was fluent in 13 languages. But he also had a particular hobby. He was a self-dubbed necropolist, which is an expert on cemeteries. Moskvin was so fascinated by cemeteries, in fact he visited 752 of them in and around his hometown. He wrote lengthy reports with titles like Great Walks Around Cemeteries and What the Dead Said. His stories were even published in a weekly newspaper called Necrologies. Apparently his curiosity was tied directly to an incident from his childhood, which he divulged in his last contribution to the paper on October 26, 2011. When Moskvin was 13, a group of men stopped him and forced him to join a funeral. They then forced him to kiss the dead young lady's corpse on the lips. Moskvin would go on to write, I kissed her once, then again, then again. The girl's mother then placed the wedding ring on his and her daughter's fingers. Moskvin wrote that his strange marriage was useful and spurred an irrevocable lifelong fascination with the dead. Moskvin began writing about the dead and taking detailed notes of each cemetery he visited. He even spent a night in the coffin of a dead person ahead of their funeral. It was when locals found the graves of their loved ones desecrated and dug up in 2009 that Moskvin's hobbies became untenable. The Russian government had no leads, but they were sure extremists were to blame. Until 2011, nobody had any inkling who the culprit in this bizarre horror story could be. But it wasn't too long until the authorities finally caught a break. That's when they realized they'd stumbled upon a real life horror story, making Moskvin the prime suspect. Countless life-size dolls littered the apartment, which Moskvin shared with his parents. The dolls' hands were covered in fabric and makeup covered their faces. It quickly became apparent that these were not inanimate objects. These were the mummified corpses of human girls. When police tried to move them, music began to blare. Moskvin had embedded music boxes into the chest cavities of these dolls. A dried human heart and a piece of gravestone were found in the home. The corpses were stuffed with rags. Also, their eye sockets were filled with buttons or toy eyes. Moskvin would go on to say, that he would watch cartoons with them and that he dug them up because he was lonely. He said his biggest dream was to have children and that he'd been waiting for science to figure out how to revive the dead. His parents had no idea. They assumed their son had a hobby of building large playthings. In court, their son confessed to 44 counts of abusing graves and dead bodies. One of the victim's mothers would go on to say, I still find it hard to grasp the scale of his sickening work. But for nine years, he was living with my mummified daughter in his bedroom. I had her for 10 years, he had her for nine. Despite psychiatrists claiming that Moskvin's condition is steadily improving, prosecutors agree with the victim's mother and have continued to keep him safely removed from society. Now the clip you're about to see is real footage from the case and the investigation. This definitely is not for the faint of heart. Сотрудниками Центра по борьбе с экстремизмом Главного управления Министерства внутренних дел России по Нижегородской области задержан подозреваемый в совершении э, преступлений, предусмотренных статьей 244 Уголовного кодекса Российской Федерации. Это надругательство над телами умерших и местами их захоронения. В квартире 45-летнего нижегородца сотрудники правоохранительных органов обнаружили 28 ростовых кукол, которых он, которые он изготовил самостоятельно, э, используя одежду, которая была украдена им на кладбищах из э, мест захоронений, а также мумифицированные остатки, останки человеческих тел. Впоследствии была обнаружена еще одна аналогичная кукла, которая находилась в принадлежащем ему гараже. В настоящее время подозреваемый 
задержан в порядке статьи 91 Уголовного процессуального кодекса Российской Федерации, проводится расследование. У сотрудников правоохранительных органов есть основания полагать, что он причастен к ряду совершения подобных преступлений на территории Нижнего Новгорода и Нижегородской области. У него в квартире, кроме кукол, было изъято большое количество одежды, похищенной из кладбищ, а также таблички из кладбищ, фотографии кладбищ и а, научной литературы по данному направлению деятельности. Сам мужчина достаточно широко известен в определенных научных кругах. Как специалист по кладбищам выпустил несколько лингвистических справочников. Now want to know what you think about this terrifying true horror story down below in the comments.